Hello everyone. Uh, today's lesson, lesson 4.12, is problem solving, multi-step division problems. So obviously in the title, multi-steps, we're going to be practicing word problems that require more than one step. All right, so let's get started. So Lucia picked three times as much corn as Eli. Yeah, that's better. Together, they picked 96 ears of corn. Eli wants to divide the number of ears he picked equally among eight bags. How many ears of corn will Eli put in each of the eight bags? Okay, so what do I need to find? I need to find the number of ears of corn that will go into each bag. So Lucia picked three times as much corn as Eli. So whatever Eli's number is, she picked three times as much. Together, they picked 96 ears. When we find out Eli's number, he wants to divide his equally into eight bags. So how many ears of corn will Eli put in each of the eight bags? All right, so we need to know that Lucia picked three times as much corn as Eli. Together they picked 96 ears of corn. The number of ears Eli picked are divided equally among eight bags. So how will I use the information? So I'll make a bar model and it's going to look something like this, okay? Because that's going to help me figure out Eli and Lucia's numbers. And it's going to help me see and visualize the information. Then I'm going to divide to find the number of ears Eli picked and divide to find the number for each bag. Okay, so let's see if we can figure out how many ears of corn they picked. So we notice that combined, they have 96. That's what this tells me. Combine these two things equals 96. And we know that Lucia's is three times as much as Eli's. Well, the only, that's the only thing I know. I don't know anything else about Eli. So I'm going to call that N. So I have to figure out what how many bags or how many ears of corn Eli picked. I do know that Lucia's was three times as much as Eli. So hers would be three times Eli. Eli is just N. So how many total Ns or how many total parts do we have? Four. One, two, three, four. Three N and one N is four N. Okay, so now we need to divide. So 96 divided by four. I can share nine tens with four groups. I can actually put two tens in every in every circle or every group. Leave me one ten left over. I can't share that equally, so I'll turn that into ten ones plus the six ones I already have, so sixteen. I can share four evenly uh, into uh, sixteen equally into four groups. Four times four is sixteen, leaving me zero. So now we see that Eli picked twenty four. If he picked 24, Lucia picked three times as many. So she picked 72. All right, so now what is 24 divided by 8? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Those represent the eight bags, and together they have to add up to 24. So each bag will have the same amount. And I know that 8 times 3 is 24. So each of these has to be 3. So how many ears of corn will Eli put in each bag? 3 ears of corn. Okay, and how can we check our answer? I can multiply. Multiply. 
the number of years of corn in each bag. by the number of bags and then multiply twenty four by four to get ninety six. So make sure we see that. Okay, so I can multiply the number of ears of corn in each bag by the number of bags and then multiply 24 by 4 to get 96. Okay, let's go on to page 190. There are eight dinner rolls in a package. How many packages will be needed to feed 64 people if each person has two dinner rolls? What do I need to find? I need to find how many packages if each person gets two dinner rolls. So I need to find the number of packages of rolls needed. What information do you need? Well, I need to know that they come in packages of eight. I need to know that I'm feeding 64 people and that each of them get two rolls. Okay, so we need to know that each of the 64 people were to get two rolls each, and then each of the packages that I'm buying have eight rolls. So how will I use the information? It's going to be like the one on the previous place, page. So make a bar model. Okay, remember the purpose of a bar model is to help you visualize or to see the information. Then what are we going to do? Then I will multiply to find the total. And then we're going to divide that total by the number of rolls per package. All right, so let's start off with the basic part of the bar model. And we didn't know basically how many rolls I need. So if I add those together, okay, this tells me to add, put them together. Four and four is eight, and six tens and six tens is 12 tens. So we need 128 rolls. Now, we know that each of the packages come in groups of eight. And that combined, they have to equal 128. So how many groups of eight will it take me to get to 128? And so that's the part we have to figure out right here, right? So this problem shows me 128 divided by eight. So how many eights can I, let's rewrite it the way we're used to, like this, okay? I can't share 100, so I'm gonna trade, I'm gonna regroup those as 10 tens plus the two tens that were already there, I can put one into each group of eight, leaving me four tens. 
I can't share the 410, so I'm going to rename them as 40 ones plus the 8 ones. And I know that 8 times 6 is 48. So there's going to be 16 of the 8s. How many packages of rolls will be needed? 16. How did drawing a model help you? I could, uh, it helped to see Okay, so it helps us to see the relationship between the numbers and to decide what operations we're going to use. Okay. So help me to see the relationship between the numbers and decide what operations to use. So when I put 64 next to 64, I know that that's got to be a total of 128. When we break a model into uh, like this, we know we have eight kind of got beginning and an end of eight. So how many of those eights will I need to get to 128? All right, number one. A firehouse pantry has 52 cans of vegetables and 74 cans of soup. Each shelf holds nine cans. What is the least number of shelves needed for all the cans? First, draw a mo bar model for the number of cans. Okay, so this is just like the previous problem. So we have 52 cans of vegetables, 74 cans of soup. So that tells me to add 7 and 2 is 6, 7 and 5 is 126. Now I need to share these 126 cans. In shelves of 9. So this is asking me how many 126s, uh, out of 126, if I put them in groups of 9, how many will I need? So 126 divided by 9. I can't share 100 evenly, so I'm going to regroup that as 10 tens, and the two tens I already have. So I can put one in each group, leaving me with three tens. I can't share the three tens evenly, so I'll regroup those as 31s plus the six ones I already had, 36, and I know that 9 times 4 is 36. So it's going to take me 14 nines to equal 126. So 14 shelves. So what if 18 cans fit on a shelf? What's the least number of shelves needed? Well, okay, so 18 is 2 times 9, right? Double. It's double the amount I had or double the number of cans. So the number of shells will decrease by a factor of two. So 14 divided by 2 leaves us 7 shelves. <clears throat> Julio's dad bought 10 dozen potatoes. The potatoes were equally divided into 6 bags. So 10 dozen. Well, I know a dozen is 12. So he bought 10 packages of 12. So I know that I have basically 12 times 110. 12 times 1 is 12. So 120. Because I have 12 tens. And I'm going to take those 120 potatoes and I'm going to put them into bags of 6. Alright, so that's a division problem. 
So step one, I multiply to find out how many potatoes. Now I'm going to divide to put them into bags. I can't share the one among six groups. So I have 12 tens. I will share the 12 tens evenly into six groups by putting two in each one. So I have no tens left. I have no ones to share either. So I'm going to show that by putting zero. So we're going to put 20 potatoes in each bag. Okay. At the garden shop, each small tree costs $125. And each large tree costs $225. How much will three small trees and one large tree cost? Three small trees, 125. Large trees, 125. We're buying three small trees, one large tree. All right, so 125 times three, that represents the small trees. And 225 times one for the large tree. Well, 225 times one, that's easy that's just 225 three sets of five ones is 15 ones regroup that as one ten and five ones three sets of two tens is six plus one more is seven and three times one is three so now we just have to add the cost of the two tree trees together five and five is ten regroup that as one ten and zero ones seven and two is nine plus one more is ten regroup that as one hundred and zero tens 300, 200, and 100 more is 600. So $600. Okay. Easy enough. 192. Ms. Johnson bought six bags of balloons. Each bag has 25 balloons. She fills all the balloons and puts five balloons in each bunch. How many bunches can she make? Six bags of balloons. Each bag has 25. She fills them in each bunch. Okay, so how many balloons did we buy? We bought 25 times 6, right? Six bags of 25. 6 times 5 is 30 ones. We'll regroup that as 3 tens and no ones. 6 times 2, 12, two tens is 12 tens, plus 3 more is 15 tens, or 150. We then took those 150 balloons and broke them into groups of five. I can't share the one with the five groups, but I can share 15 tens, and five times three is 15. So I subtract, I get zero. I have zero ones left to share, so I'm going to put 30. 30 bunches. Number six, an adult's dinner costs $8. A family of two adults and two children pays $26 for their dinners. How much does a child's dinner cost? So adult's dinner, $8. Family of two adults, two children pays $26. Okay, so we know that they have a total amount of $26 they need to spend. We know that each of the adults dinner cost $8. So that gives us a total of $16. I then know that together these two boxes have to be 26. So I need to figure out this small piece here. So 26 take away 16 is 10. All right, so 10. And now we need to share these 10 into two groups.
10 into two groups. 10 divided by 2, 5. So $5 per child. So if I was setting up this up as an equation, I would say 26 take away 2 times 8, right, divided by 2 would equal the cost of the children. So 26 minus 16 10 divided by 2 equals 5. <clears throat> Number 7, use the table at the right. Maria bought 80 ounces of apples. She needs 10 apples to make a pie. How many apples will be left over? So an apple on average weighs about 5 ounces. So 80 times 5. So she bought 40 ounces of apples. 400 ounces. Oh, uh, I read, read that question totally wrong. <laughs> uh, let's, let's go back. She bought 80 ounces. So how many apples did she buy to get those 80 ounces? Okay, each apple is 5 ounces. So how many groups of 5 ounces will it take to get to 80? Well, I can share 5 evenly among the 10s, leaving me 3 10s. I can't share those with 5 groups, so I'll trade those for 31s plus the 0 ones I already had. So 5 times, 30, uh, five times 6 is 30. So we have 16 apples. She bought 16 apples. She needs 10 apples. She'll have 6 apples left. Okay. So <laughs> what did we do? Well, we took the 80 ounces and divided by 5. to find the number of apples she bought. We then subtracted 16 and 10 to get six apples left. OK. I would have been way off on that other one if I kept multiplying. So, uh, number eight, Taylor has 16 tacks. She buys two packages of 32, 36 tacks. How many garage sale posters can she put up if she uses four tacks for each poster? All right, so she has 16. She buys two packages of 36. How many garage sale posters can she put up if she uses four tacks each? So we're going to go 16 plus what she bought. 2 times 36. Okay. And then we're going to take that total and divide by 4. So this is going to tell me how many tacks she bought. She bought 16, uh, she had 16 plus 72. 36 plus 36 is 72. Gives me a total of 88 tax divide by 4. She has 88 total tax. She's going to put 4 tax on every poster. So 4 times 2 is 8. So I have no 10s left over to share. And I have 8 1s left to share. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So she can put up 22 posters. And the last one, number nine, Ryan bought eight dozen bandages for the track team first aid kit. The, the bandages were divided into four boxes. How many bandages are in each box? So the first thing we need to do is 12 times eight, because eight dozen means eight sets of 12. 
8 times 2 is 16 ones. We'll regroup as 1, 10, and 6 ones. 8 times 1, 10 is 8, plus the regrouped, 96. So we have 96 bandages that need to be broken into four boxes or shared with four boxes. I can share nine tens with four groups twice, leaving me one ten left. I'm gonna trade that for 10 ones plus the six I already had. And 16 divided by four is four because four times four is 16. So 24 bandages in each box okay so that's that's it that's the story for chapter four so we'll do a review tomorrow on chapter four and then we'll um, see how much of this material we've mastered so until then may the numbers always be in your favor